could he not have anticipated? Because he knew the things that y'all know now after two days of testimony. He knew those things on the night of July 26, 2016. Ethan Walker sat on the floor with his back against a bed with his hands up near in a barrel defenseless position. The very merit shot him through the heart. Didn't shoot him in the hand, didn't shoot him in the foot, didn't fire off a warning shot to scare him. He shot him center mass. Killed him. That is intentional. And of course the defendant should have, admit, should have anticipated all this. He should have anticipated because you know how he, how he knew what was going to go down that night and what the risks were for his conspiracy? Because he wanted his own gun. As he asked Mariah Quadri, can I borrow a gun from you? Or can you point me to somebody where I can borrow a gun? What else do we know about what he should have anticipated that night? Because, ladies and gentlemen, the red flags were right in front of his face. It's like a Christmas tree blinking on and off that, that night. I want to start with what was Tamor's role in this, okay? And his role in this is certainly described by several people. But what was his role? Number one, Tamor never touched, handled, loaded, cleaned, carried, a firearm either before this incident that day, during the incident that day, or after the incident that day. There is not a scintilla of evidence that he did that. Tamor didn't anticipate this was going to happen. None of these girls anticipated this was going to happen. And nobody should anticipate that somebody was going to go in there and intentionally shoot somebody. It wasn't part of the plan. You know that because, let me tell you why. If it was part of the plan that somebody was going to kill somebody in there, the girls in Tamar wouldn't have freaked out and run out the front door when the first shot went off if it was part of the plan. 